When it came time for news media questions, Press Register reporter Ann Reeks asked Alexander about his recent trip to Washington. The trip took place between January 18th and 21st at the same time as President Carter's inauguration. Alexander turned in a $363 expense sheet for the trip. He said the purpose of the trip was an appointment with Associate U.S. Department of Education Commissioner Thomas Burns. But the expense voucher shows the taxi trip to the Department of Education on the last day Alexander was in Washington, the 21st. On the two previous days Alexander says he spent in Washington, he charged the school system nearly $60 in hotel, meals, and taxi fees. Add to that his ticket to one of the inaugural balls January 20th, and the rental charge for a tuxedo to attend that ball, and the figure swells to $100. When Ms. Reeks asked about the extended trip, Alexander refused to answer. And I am sick and tired of that yellow dog journalism used by the Mobile newspaper where they use their sources. I don't know that Diane Freeman and Bill Herring didn't sit down and make that story up, Ms. Reeks. While Dan Alexander's voucher is being processed so that he can get his money back, one school board official told me it was not known whether the auditors would accept such expenditures. This is Bill Capo at the Mobile County School Board for Channel 10 Newsbeat.